Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan from Sockham Supply. I uh, got an email from Pam and she wants to know what kind of or what size of blade she should be using on her bandsaw. Well, that leads me to a question for Pam. Um, like, what are you going to be doing with your bandsaw? But what I'm going to do in this video, I'm just kind of going to go through all the different styles and sizes and materials of blades that you can get. And this will give you kind of the baseline of what kind of bandsaw blade you may want to use. Um, so we'll start with the width. Um, the width of the blade, what I mean by that is how wide it is this direction. So this blade here is one inch wide, uh, five eighths, half inch, three eighths, quarter inch, three sixteenths. Whole bunch of different sizes. Now here's a cool little chart. You can pull these up on Google. That's all I did here. This kind of gives you a baseline of all the different curves these width of blades can potentially cut. Um, so if you're doing some scroll saw type work, you're going to want to use a thinner blade. I will often use a 3 16 blade because that gives me a lot of flexibility. And the, well, it says here, a 3 16 blade, the minimum radius is going to be 5 16 of an inch. Um, now, if I have a lot of resawing I want to do, um, I don't want to cut curves. Oftentimes I'll use a wider blade, like a 5 8 3 quarter, or 1 inch. You can still cut curves with even a one inch blade, that's something that you really are probably never gonna do. Um, so wider blades for resawing, thinner blades for curve and scroll saw type work. Okay, now as far as the width here goes as well, the wider the blade is, the harder it is when you put pressure on that blade to collapse it or bend it. So that comes in play when you're resawing. Um, so I can cut a lot faster. I can push a lot harder on a wider blade than I can a skinnier blade. Okay, now the tooth pattern. Another important thing, uh, all sorts of different kinds of tooth patterns. So here we got a 1.3 teeth per inch, 3 TPI, 4 TPI, 6 TPI, 10 TPI. Um, TPI is teeth per inch. The more teeth per inch, the more teeth per inch, the smoother, the finer the cut's going to be, the fewer teeth per inch, the faster and the rougher the cut's going to be. Okay, now another thing, another little rule of thumb that you can remember is, for me anyway, some people have different opinions, but um, I always like to have at least four teeth in my material at once. So that means if I'm cutting a one inch thick piece of wood, I like to have at least a 4 TPI uh, blade. That way I don't get any catching or grabbing when I'm cutting something. Um, okay, and then the final thing we'll talk about is the curve. Um, some blades are 22 thou, some blades are 32 thou or 37 thou. The thinner the blade is, the thinner that blade is, the smoother the cut's going to be, the warmer the cut could potentially be, or the, the hotter, and uh, the more difficult time that blade is going to have removing chips from inside the cut. Okay, the wider the blade, the thicker the kerf, the rougher the cut, the easier it is for that blade to clear the chip. So the cooler it runs and the faster it cuts. Okay, now that's kind of all generalizations. The interesting thing that is kind of opposite to what I just said, uh, or a lot of people will disagree with what I'm about to say here, is I can cut every bit as straight with this one inch blade, 1.3 teeth per inch, than I can with this 3 16 blade, 10 teeth per inch. The only difference will be on this thinner blade, it's going to cut way slower and way hotter. But I can cut every bit as straight with that blade as I can that blade. Though it would not make sense to use that blade because it would take forever. Um, so that's kind of an interesting thing. Now, I often get asked, what is your preferred blade? What blade do you like to use? Again, it depends what I'm doing, but generally, I use one blade more than any other. I like to use this blade right here. That's a 3 8 blade, 3 teeth per inch, and it's a 32 thou kerf. So it's a little bit wider. So I like that blade because it does a great job of cutting straight but it also does a great job of cutting curves and circles. Um, so it's a good blade for kind of everything that I like to do. 
and it's inexpensive. Now, the other thing I can talk about is the different materials the blades are made of. Some are made of Swedish silicone, that's one common one we're working in, and the other common one will be um, high carbon steel. There's also bimetal and a few other types, but we won't get into them right now. Um, the main difference between a Swedish silicone and a high carbon steel is the, well, the, the Swedish silicone I can actually sharpen a little bit sharper. So when I'm cutting a kiln dried piece of wood, that sharper tooth will mean I have a smoother cut um, and that's a beautiful thing. Now, they're also a little bit more expensive. High carbon steel, I cannot sharpen quite as sharp. But the interesting thing about a high carbon steel that I like is when I'm dealing with bark or dirt, they do not tend to dull quite as quickly as a Swedish silicone blade. Um, so they actually last a little bit longer through bark and dirt and that kind of stuff, um, which I personally use a lot. And they're also a little bit less money. Um, so I like the high carbon blades. Now when I say a Swedish silicone blade will cut smoother. I don't mean it's going to cut any straighter. Um, it'll cut smoother, but potentially um, a little bit less sanding you'll have to do, but it will still cut every bit as straight as that high carbon steel blade. Um, so yeah, there's lots of different styles and shapes and widths and materials that you can get in your bandsaw blades. And there's a whole, there's a lot more of that with the bandsaw blade tooth geometry and hook tooth, skip tooth, regular tooth, a variable pitch, uh, all sorts of different stuff that you can get into, but that's kind of the basics. Um, I hope that answers your question, Pam. If anybody else has any questions, uh, comment on this video or email me at info at and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.